Good morning. As believers, we know that God's people are never immune from suffering. But as scripture would tell us, and specifically in today's Psalm 124, we learn we can celebrate the redeeming and sustaining power of God, especially in the midst of suffering. Now, today's Psalm 124 begins with a community voicing their gratitude together. Let's take a look. If the Lord had not been on our side, let Israel say, if the Lord had not been on our side, when people attacked us, they would have swallowed us alive. When their anger flared against us, the flood would have engulfed us. The torrent would have swept over us. The raging waters would have swept us away. Now, don't be confused by this psalm that God's in this habit of just taking sides. It does repeat and emphasize, if the Lord had not been on our side, we see here that God is helping a particular group in a very particular situation. This psalm is speaking of God's people who would have died without his protection. The flood would have engulfed them, the torrent would have swept over them, and the raging waters would have taken them away. Things were not looking good. God's people had nowhere else to turn. Only God could save them. There was no power on earth that could have got them out of the situation they were facing. But let's take a look at verse 6. Praise be to the Lord, who had not let us be torn by their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the fowler's snare, the snare that had been broken, and we have escaped. They were being hunted, and they were delivered by God, right? They escaped, as those verses tell us there. And then it concludes with my favorite verse, verse 8. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. See, David is looking to the maker, not to the things that are around him, and not getting hung up in what he just faced. He's trusting in the divine help. This psalm is a great reminder for me that the cries of God's people invoke the mighty and powerful name, Yahweh. And it didn't go unheard. God graciously came to their aid. What human enemies can compare to the divine creator, the creator of heaven and earth? Who can compare?